come dressed as a guy who shops at Urban Outfitters. So, you're welcome. Uh, my name is Louis, I am Australian, and I'm very aware how tight this shirt is. Here's why the shirt's tight. I was married for like two years, and she cheated on me. And then I took like a vagication. Um, and I started dating another girl for like six months, found some shady stuff between her and another guy, broke it off. And now it's so bad, it's like, I can no longer date normal women from here on out. Like from here on out, I can only date porn stars, because that way I just can't act shocked when I walk in on her blowing another guy. <laughs> if I walk in on that, I can't be like, what, you cheating on me? I'll just walk in and be like, what, there's my baby, just bringing work home. <laughs> if you have ever been cheated on, you know it kills your libido. Like, from, yeah, I'll put it in perspective. I can't watch normal porn anymore. At all. Like, the only porn I can watch that gives me movement has to be monogamy porn. And it doesn't exist. I'm still looking for a clip that's just called Wife Blows Poor Cleaner's Mind. And in that clip, all you see is some disheveled, losery husband who just walks off to work. Now to nowhere, some shredded up Latino pool cleaner pulls up, right? Walks to that front door with ever so much swagger, knocks on it. Who answers? The most beautiful wife you have ever seen. And they look at each other, and he says to her, Yo! I just seen that loser leave her for work! How about I just clean your pool? <laughs> and she looks back at him and goes, that loser's name is Trevor. I've been with Trevor for 25 years. I'm not about to throw away the love and commitment I have given Trevor on some fleeting sexual experience with you. Now you get out there and you clean Trevor's pool. And then for like the next 30 minutes of the clip, it's just a Mexican cleaning a pool. If I could find that clip, I would be at home right now, pants down around my ankles like, damn, look at the trust and security of that shit. Yeah. Just to clarify, I do masturbate like an angry troll guarding a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. If you were my roommate and you came home and all you heard from my bedroom was, yeah. You would think to yourself, good for Loey. He found that monogamy porn he was looking for. <laughs> I don't want to sound misogynistic right now. I'm really, I'm not. I believe every one of you women, you're beautiful in your own way. And we as men need to champion you more because there's a group of people out there who really hate women. You know who they are? <laughs> women. <laughs> I haven't heard it at Starbucks. I was just waiting in line. I heard a woman complain to her girlfriend about another woman she didn't know. This is how it went. So, I was hiking the other morning and there was another woman hiking up there wearing practically nothing. Like, just a bikini. And I'm like, what sort of a man is that going to get you? <laughs> I'm hearing it, I'm like, what sort of a man is titties gonna get you? Uh, every man. That's how titties work. It's kind of their job. If I had a vacuum cleaner with a set of titties on it, I would not be in Valencia this evening. I would be back at home in West Hollywood for the 157th night in a row like, damn, thank you vacuum cleaner with titties. These floors are spotless. <laughs> Crazy people hate sluts. Sluts don't hate anyone. It's what makes them sluts. <laughs> I, um, when I was a teenager, I used to be uh, obese. And I, I lost all of the weight by becoming a hardcore rollerblader. Now, that was until the 90s when someone came out with this joke. What's the hardest part about being a rollerblader? Telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> it was with that one homophobic joke that all of us rollerbladers were forced to hide who we really are. <laughs> Not 
Not a day goes by I don't think to myself, Lowy, just come out of the closet to your friends and family, wearing the rollerblades that are still in that closet. But I can't. What if they, they don't accept me? Because I told a close friend of mine my secret. I was like, yo, man, we've been friends for a long time. I gotta tell you something. I've noticed since I was a teenager, but uh, I'm a rollerblader. Because <laughs> he said to me, he's like, Dude, why don't you just be a skateboarder like a normal person? <laughs> I'm like, dude, you don't choose to be a rollerblader. You're born a rollerblader. <laughs> so the next time someone says to you, rollerblading, that's gay. No, it's not. I wish rollerblading was gay. Being gay is accepted, but for us rollerbladers, <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> Uh, 100% of comedians uh, suffer from depression. So with, with that fact being told, my favourite thing to do is to go online and make a mockery of people who post really positive ideals for life that can never work in the real life. People who post this message are my favourite. <clears throat> This year I'm all about the positive energy and the positive vibes. And if you're not positive, well, you can just get out of my life. It's like, getting rid of everyone in your life who isn't positive doesn't make you a positive person. It makes you a fucking asshole. <laughs> Whatever. If you're not positive all the time, then you can just get out of my life. No one's positive all the time. No one. No human being ever is positive all the time. You are confusing human beings with golden retrievers. <laughs> Those things are positive all the time. Whatever. Hashtag 100 days of happy. If you're not happy for the next 100 days, you can just get out of my life. No one's happy for 100 days straight. If you meet someone and they are happy for 100 days straight, chances are that's because they are highly medicated because they suffer from depression. <laughs> Now, if you're a positive person and this joke offended you, time to get out of your own life! <laughs> <laughs> That's the end to that joke. <laughs> Haven't finished it yet? Don't know if I will. Um, I think I've got to go. I think that's pretty good. No? 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 Okay, this one's uh, for Sean Leary. I haven't done this one in a while, so bear with me. Who here is in a relationship? Yeah. Okay, fucking that's weird. Got real weird in there for me. <laughs> Anyone here in a relationship? Fucking hope not. <laughs> oh, now I got a light? Okay, now I, need, now I need to change the joke up. Alright. Uh, I got into a weird racial exchange of words at a mall here in America. Uh, I just want to get off my chest. Now, I'm coming down the escalator, right? And I'm just. I'm in the middle of a text fight, because I don't know if anyone else here dated Laura Morris for like six months, but I think you'll agree she's kind of a bitch. <laughs> so, whilst I'm here, I look over at the opposing escalator, the one coming up, and I lock eyes with an African-American gentleman. Now, he looks at me, I look back at him, he back at me, and I just go back to fighting Laura Morris, whose cell number is 323302 2344. Now, whatever was in that look was enough to ignite this exchange of words from him to me at a rapid pace. Yo, man, you look nervous! Do I? Yeah! No, I'm good. Alright, then. <laughs> that was it. That's all that was said. Here's the thing, I wasn't nervous to be around a black guy at all. She's so busy fighting Laura Morris, who lives at 2266 Laura Kennedy Boulevard, apartment 4B. But it sucked that he thought I was racist. To him, it was like he had all the answers to that question he ever wanted to hear. To him, it should have gone like this. Yo, man, you look nervous! Yeah, because I'm white. White people have kind of done some shit. So now I feel the need to overcompensate for that by putting too many Barack Obama bumper stickers on the back of my car. <laughs> telling people I like hip-hop and I've seen every single white guilt movie that's ever been released. 
Like Mississippi Burning, I'm a stud, Roots, American History X, Malcolm X, Exit Wound Starring DMX, A Time to Kill, Remember the Titans, They Help the Hurricane, The Color Purple, The Bummer, Do the Right Thing, Men of Honor, Chamber One Chain, 42, Lincoln, 12 Years a Slave, but fuck Tyler Perry. We cool? Nah. Alright. <laughs> And then I just jump into my Prius, crank up some John Mayer, and have a great white guy day. <laughs> uh, that's all, Bill. Thanks, guys, very much.